Hello everyone, it's Natalie and welcome to this week's plan with me. This week I am using the Shop Jessica Hart Wildflower Kit. And I think this kit is absolutely stunning and I think it will be perfect for this transition into autumn now, which it's definitely starting to feel like autumn here in Australia. So the first thing that I'm doing here is taking my white out tape out and just using that to cover up the printing on the sidebar of the Erin Condren because I know that these colors are quite light. Um, I know that from past experience that that printing on the EC will bleed through of my stickers so I just wanted to cover those up so once I've done the sidebar there I just um, use the white out to cover up the thankful thought box and the flag I am doing the same with the headers and the dates um, this is because I am extending the layout upwards and again these check boxes are like a pale gold glitter and I know that you'll be able to see um, the headers and the dates underneath because they are black and you know um, you definitely see that through a lighter color. So now that I've done all that, I'm just going to work on placing my headers and check boxes down along with the date covers. So with the Shop Jessica Hearts kit, you do get some beautiful color blocked headers, which I really, really like, and they match the check boxes, the hearts in the check boxes in this case. So first off, I'm placing the today headers down and I am placing those down in like an ombre pattern so you can see that I've placed the gold in the middle on Thursday that header and then gone from the darkest to the lightest like maroon burgundy shade so um, I really like how that turned out and I placed the today headers right on top of the printed header of the Erin Condren because I'm going to extend the layer upwards and after I placed all the today headers down I've gone ahead and placed the check boxes right directly on top of those and I do use tweezers to place the headers down because it just makes it so much easier to position especially with like small skinny stickers like headers um, it just works out really well for me and I'll leave that link down below so now after I've popped all the check boxes down I'm placing the to-do headers and again matching up the color of the to-do headers with the today headers and the hearts in the check box and now I am taking these little date um, well not dots they're really kiss card date numbers from Mira Mibella and placing those onto the date covers that come with the kit I love these kiss cut um, dates I think they're really pretty and they go with so many different um, like cursive fonts and I thought they went perfectly with the shop Jessica Hart's font here and I love these date covers I, I love this floral so much so um, after I've placed those onto the date covers I just pop the date covers directly on top of the headers so now my to-do section's done and now I've taken the two little mini flags that came in the kit to cover up the printed flags on the Erin Condra and they're in that whitewashed brick that does flow throughout the kit and now I'm going to work on my sidebar. So I've taken the quote box that says she belongs among the wildflowers and just placed that um, over the thankful thought part of the box. I line the top of that box up with the top of the checkbox sticker. And now I'm taking this, the weekly to do header with the remaining checkbox um, for my YouTube schedule. And then I'm using the schedule header with um, an ombre weekly tracker to track my spending and then I did use the goals header underneath that and I will um, head back to my sidebar after I finish placing down all the decorative full boxes. Um, the, re the Shop Jessica Hearts kit does come with another set of like six headers for your sidebar on the sixth page but those headers are a different font to the ones that are in the rest of the kit so I didn't want to use those so that's why I ended up using schedule for daily spending which doesn't really work but I know what it means so it was okay so I did place down all the decorative full boxes which are just so stunning I just I think this is one of the prettiest kits I've ever used um, and I love it so much so I do extend the layout downwards here so I line up the bottom of the check box the bottom of the full box sticker with the printed notes line in the Erin Condra in the last one and now just back onto the sidebar there I just used some washi and laid that underneath the goals header um, so that I can track my social media um, and then I just layered some washi underneath the half box there and I'll place these little icons from planting roses um, to track my Instagram and YouTube stats and on the weekend I of course placed the most beautiful weekend banner down and I just 
um, pop some washi underneath it to um, cover up those headers there. And now I'm moving on to the week. So I did use some TV little things on Saturday because um, 13 Reasons Why um, premiered and I love that book. So I definitely wanted to watch watch the Netflix series. Also, the originals is on and also on Friday, the Riverdale is back on. And now I'm moving on to the beginning of the week. So I'm just sort of sorting out the little things first, I guess. So Monday, just a heart little thing to mark the week of the semester. Then I do have a pack, did have a package coming on Monday, which um, was actually my mum's package. Um, and then for payday, I used a meal little thing and covered up the icon with a payday sticker flag that came in the kit just so I could um, write the amount and stuff like that. Then on Wednesday, I do need to transfer some money. So I use an asterisk little thing for that. And I was expecting another package on the Thursday. So I used a package icon for that. And then I just used an asterisk on Friday because just to mark anything else that comes out during the week. So yeah, so now that's that done, I did take out, take my white out and just white out all the printed headers in the middle there because they can get a bit distracting and you know throughout the week I end up covering that up but I just think it looks better so it doesn't look like the day's section off when you're um, planning. So I am taking my um, countdown stickers from KPL plans and placing those on the bottom there um, counting down to a holiday and I just thought these little some some stickers were just really cute so yeah and now I'm moving on to day by day so on Monday I did um, wanted to do some pre-planning of my April spread. Um, so I used a flag, placed that horizontally with this little planner from Two Little Bees, which is like, which goes so well with so many of my kids, this planner. I've got like a whole sheet of different um, like full planners from Two Little Bees. Love those. And then I'm using this Me Time book sticker because um, it was Lazy Day and I was reading um, The Dark Artifices, um, which um, is by Cassandra Clare. And I love that series more than the mortal instruments i highly recommend and i can't wait until lord of shadows comes out next month and i um did need to paint my nails so i just used a rose colored days gold foiled label sticker there with a um nail polish bottle from planning and mint which is the one that's there but the one that i used previously was from fox and pip i just thought this one just went nicer and then um, my uncle was having surgery, so I used a half box there with a little coffee cup and a home icon from the kit just to mark that we did go and visit him to see how he was going. And then on Tuesday, um, I just have a uni class, so I used a label from the kit with a Clever Girl Crafts foiled heart. And then on Wednesday, I wanted to film haul, so I used a half box for that with another heart from Clever Girl Crafts and a YouTube sticker from Planning and Mint. Love those. And then I did use another label because my grandparents did come to visit and that's also from the kit. And then I did get a bunch of happy mail that day on the Wednesday. So I used the happy mail stick from the kit to mark that. And then on to Thursday. Um, Thursday I was going to film my April monthly plan with me, which will be up later this week. So I'm using a half box of the Two Little Bees planner and that planning and mint YouTube icon again. And then to edit and upload, I used a flag horizontally and a little Miss Papery glitter laptop. And then I did have an appointment that night, so I'm using a, la a label sticker from Shop Jessica Hearts and an icon from Planning World, which is also foiled. And then on Friday, um, I just need to mark that it was like the census date for university, so um, I, not that I really needed to know, but I just like to mark that. Um, so I just use a label and a Clever Girl Crafts foiled icon for that as well. And then on Saturday, I'm just using a half box to mark that I want to fill my weekly plan with things. So again, I'm using that Twiddle Little Bees floral planner and the YouTube icon again. And yeah, I did go off camera and fill everything out and I used my Muji gel pen in 0.5. And I'm just showing you I used the white out and my tweezers as well. And I have all of that linked down below and all of like all the tools that I use. And this is what I have left with the kit. So fair enough to fill out the rest of the spread throughout the week and I do plan on using the bottom washi for my April notes page so you can check me out on Instagram to see that otherwise I really hope that you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one bye